Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming a video that I am so freaking pumped for. They're one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I'm going to be showing you an all day wear test of a new foundation and a new concealer. I'm so freaking excited. Like you don't even know. I love finding like just a bomb ass foundation and concealer that cover and they smooth out your pores and your skin just looks flawless like yes that's what we're all looking for so hopefully this stuff works today i'm going to test out the new l'oreal infallible foundation and foundation and concealer warning 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 remember that it is june in florida i'm going to try and stay out of the heat though so obviously i can give you the best review as possible further ado let's get started by trying this out so I'm going to be using the Morphe Jeffree Star sponge to apply everything and I'm gonna use the primer today that I normally use that way I know like if I like the foundation and concealer on their own so the one that I really like to use um, really great if you're oily and have large pores is the Tarte timeless moving primer it literally is like very thick so you have to rub it into your fingers and like press it into the skin but if you're oily you will love this so before we get started with the makeup, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about this foundation. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation has an SPF of 25 on it. And it says on their website that it's going to last you up to 24 hours, fresh staying power. Uh, it's a long lasting foundation with their most lightweight, breathable texture. It's waterproof. Oh shit. Transfer resistant and sweat resistant. Okay. It's a medium to full buildable coverage with a natural finish. I'm okay with a natural finish. As long as I don't get greasy, we're good to go. And it also says it has 30 shades for every skin tone. And I did notice when I was at Ulta, there were so many shades. Same thing with the concealer. There were so many different colors to choose from, so I love that. Let's see what the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Waterproof Concealer is all about. I had no idea that this line was waterproof. Like, that's bomb. Concealer, it says, is more than a concealer, full on coverage, full face wear, so you can use it for foundation too, that's awesome. Waterproof, transfer resistant, fade resistant. It covers, contours, and shapes the face. Shit, I should have gotten some of the dark ones to contour. Damn it, it's okay. We'll do that in another video. Um, completely covers imperfections, minimizes redness, and scars. Okay, I'm really excited to try this. You guys wanna zoom in, that way you can see a little better? Hold on, one second. Momenta. I have so much um, makeup on still from yesterday. I filmed the smoky cat eye makeup yesterday, so I've got a lot of black on my eyes, but it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Tarte Smoothing Primer. I need to try more primers. I really do, but I just feel like a lot of them don't do shit. Like, I hate that. I just want it to work. You know what I mean? Let's get into this. So I grabbed the color 460. So far, it is beautiful. Wow. You know what look I want to go for today? A Victoria's Secret model look. I think that's how I'm going to do my makeup today. It's probably not going to happen. But I swear those are my intentions. My intentions are going to be just very natural and effortless and just mm. so you can see this is what the foundation looks like it's really nice like I really like it let's do one more light layer and that way we can really see like how it wears for the day so prior to turning on my camera today I did um, the purity exfoliating mask because my skin, guys, I've never had acne. Obviously, I always get acne here, especially around that time of the month. That's your hormonal area. But I've never really had pimples on my cheeks. But like I was telling you in the last video, I have just been so stressed out lately. And it's coming out in my skin. Like, it's insane. Wow. Wow. All I can say is this looks really nice. I really like it. Okay. Oh. Jeez. Okay, so let's try <laughs> the concealer. So I got the shade 360 Cashmere. This one, the color is like a neutral tone and it leans a little bit towards the pink. I don't think I'm gonna add a color corrector because I really wanna see the way the concealer performs like on its own. So let's try this out. I don't know how heavy this is. 
So let me just do little baby dots so I don't go like too crazy. Okay. She's full coverage. Yes, she is. Okay, got it. All right, so I can already tell you that right now I have to add my color corrector because I need more peach right here. Right there we go. I needed a little bit more pink right there just to brighten. That's pretty good coverage. I want to put like a little more just to see how it looks. I just want to see like how intense this can get. Oh, okay, yes. This can get intense, okay. So far, really liking this. It's gonna take a little bit more of the foundation and that way I just blend out these edges so I don't just have like a white line. All right, so now I'm gonna set my under eye and face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. All right, so now that we're all set, I'm gonna finish up my makeup real quick and I'll be right back. So cute. Why, look how cute this little face is. Okay, so I turned the camera back on because I totally forgot that I got a package this morning and I wanted to play with it today. Ugh, hold on, I have a lot of cat hair in the mouth. Ugh, Bailey. Ugh, I got all this really beautiful pink blush and gloss from Milani and I think it's gonna go really good with this look so I figured I'd turn the camera back on and we'll just finish the makeup together so what I use for the eyeliner just so you guys know is the BP perfect carnival palette and I use this color right here funky I basically just use it with a um, angled liner brush and I just sprayed my brush a little bit so very simple alrighty so let's try this Milani blush I don't know why I always have to smell everything. Um, the color is 05 Luminoso. I don't I don't think this is a new color. Is it a new color? I feel like they've already had this one, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't really like shimmery blushes. I like a matte blush, but this has like a nice glow to it. It's not really too glittery. It's not shimmery or anything like that, but this is like as probably as much as I could go with a glow for my cheeks, but this is really pretty. I like this. All right, so let's try this baby. It says you can use it for your face, your eyes, and also your cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with, eh. oh, the glue is still on it. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This looks really pretty. I've never tried Milani's highlighters, so let's see how this is. If this is too pink, I might mix it in with this goldish one. Eh, screw it, let's just mix them. Ooh, ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, so I would say that this highlighter reminds me of the um, finish of the Hourglass, except just a little bit more intense, just a little bit. But it's really smooth, it's not um, chunky, it definitely is not accentuating um, fine lines, pores, all that jazz. So this is really pretty. Wipe off all this powder. I guess we'll do kind of a pinky-ish nude color. This is the color Guide Me from Morphe. Tomorrow I'm actually gonna be filling these babies up, so it's gonna look so good. I cannot wait. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go into this baby again, just because there's so many lipsticks I wanna play with, and I haven't really played too much, um, except for that one color, Hustle, which is my shit. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Ooh, okay, wait, Perfectionist, that one might have to be what's gonna go with this look today. Oh, this color. Oh, that's my kind of pink. Like, I need a pink that's more brownie, and I love this. Okay, that's that's really pretty. And then let's take a little bit of As If in the center and see how that looks. Mm-hmm. So 
pretty. All right, let's also go in with this other Milani product called Luminoso. Okay, did I miss something? I think this is the Luminoso collection. Uh-huh, looks just like orgasm. It smells really minty. It's a plumping gloss. Only gonna put it in the center of my lip. I'm a good girl. I put my lashes in my little storage case from House of Lashes. Love these lashes, have no idea who they're by, what they're called, and I'm just like, All right, so my makeup is done. It's literally noon on the dot. I'm gonna zoom in the camera so we can see exactly how it looks and then we'll check in throughout the day. All right guys, so I'm gonna check back in throughout the day and we'll see exactly how this foundation wears. All right, so it's one o'clock and I'm going to make myself a quick little protein shake and then I'm gonna get my day started. I've got tons of errands to do. I really need to organize my closet. I've been saying that for like a while now. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me all day today. All right, I'm gonna make my protein shake because the diet I'm on right now, I have to have two protein shakes a day. So just using my Happy Way protein, I have, I'm, I have some blueberries. I'm out of peanut butter, but peanut butter, vanilla protein, and blueberries taste so freaking incredible like you don't even know it's bomb so good but it needs some peanut butter it really does Kiki <laughs> So it's two o'clock now, and let me get a little close to the light. Get your booty out of my face. I think we're looking good. I still really like the way it looks. So I'm gonna run some errands real quick. I've gotta go to the bank. I've gotta go to Publix. I've gotta go, I've got a lot of shit to do, and I need some candles. So let's go get some candles, shall we? Alrighty, let's get some shit done. I'm exhausted and I haven't even started yet. Whew. Can't even get in. <laughs> Whew. Florida summer, it is here. It is so hot outside, but not too humid, thankfully. So hopefully the makeup just like stays in place because <laughs> I've got to go like in and out of the car all day today. Um, but summers are kind of hard because my husband Dan, he owns a Taekwondo school, so he has a summer camp, so he leaves like 6 a.m. in the morning, and I don't see him till 9.30 at night, and it's like that for 10 weeks, and it's awful because I never get to see him, and then I take so many clients like on the weekend, so oh, I'm just not excited about the summer ever. But we are going to be going back to Asheville, North Carolina. We went, I think, last year to go hiking, and we had such an amazing time. Like, North Carolina is beautiful so we're super excited to just honestly get out of our daily lives shut off and get into nature and just hike and be with each other we got this really nice hotel over there so I am excited we're going around like the beginning of July so July 4th will mark I think 14 years of us together like since we started dating so it's gonna be really nice I cannot wait <sighs> I gotta get my shit together and get in shape so I can look sexy for Asheville. Yes, bitch. All right, car payment, rent, check, paid, done. Let's move on to better, bigger and better things. We gotta restock, restock, bitch. Let's go. All right, let me grab a water because I can always drink more water. This is like the most unexciting part, but I just need a couple things. Creamy, just like a good spaghetti. Let's get some spaghetti squash. What is this? Orangetti spaghetti squash? I've never tried that. Yeah, we'll try that too. Why not? It's 4.30 now, and I think that the makeup looks still really good. I'm a little shiny on my nose, but 
that's not too bad because we've been going in we me I've been going in and out of the car the entire time and it's so hot today but we look good we look good there's a lot of aggressive drivers out right now jeez beast okay time for a check-in so it is right now 4 45 we've had this makeup on for four hours and 45 minutes. I just went to Publix and I had to drop off the food before we continue with the shit that needs to get done today. But let's take a look at the makeup, shall we? I think it looks really nice. The only complaint I will say is that my nose is pretty oily a little bit, but at this point, typically when I wear makeup, this is when I'm gonna have to reapply powder. So what I wanna do is just reapply powder on one half of my face so I can just see how it works for the rest of the day. Cause I always feel like once I do a touch up, I'm like, oh, it looks good. Before I do that, let's just zoom in and look at the foundation a little bit up close and personal. I think it looks still pretty good. What y'all think? Pretty good? Pretty good, I think so too. I'm just gonna add a little powder where I'm shiny in that T-zone. So this side we've mattified down just a little bit. This side still has a little bit of shine, but it's really just around this area. I'm in and out of the car, it's hot, so I still am like, Bitch, this is an A plus, like I love it. I'm gonna keep going with my day and we're gonna see how this wears. Ooh, let's smell some candles, shall we? Ooh, that smells literally just like suntan lotion. That smells good. Ooh, that might be good too. I wanna try new ones. Like I love my cinnamon spice vanilla, but like I'm over it. I need something new. I never smelled this one, watermelon lemonade. It's actually not bad. I kind of like that one. Watermelon lemonade. I'm into this one. Okay, I've smelled literally every single candle in here, and here are my top picks for where we're at in Bath and Body Works. My favorites right now are the bergamot waters. It smells super clean, like a sexy man, but not too much. And this watermelon lemonade, oh my god, this smells literally like watermelon and lemonade. It is so nice. This one I'm gonna get, but I only think I'm gonna get one because it literally smells like copper tone. So I don't know how that's gonna burn, but I really like it. And I've never liked the Georgia peach, but this peach bellini is so nice. Yeah, don't mind me. I went to Sephora and I tried some stuff on. <laughs> the peach bellini is so good. Like I wanna drink that and add some vodka to it. <laughs> Just saying. And they have London again. This used to be one of my favorites. Dan hates this scent, but I love it. I mean, it literally smells like Iced tea with lemon. It is so good. So these are my top picks. Yes. Okay, on to the next door. white leggings. But I like these. 
literally loved almost everything. It's now seven o'clock, and honestly, this makeup looks bomb. Okay, L'Oreal, we see you. We see you. On my way home now, and let me just tell you guys that underneath Fabuletics is my favorite macaroon place. It was screaming my name. Like, I wanted the vanilla coconut macaroon. So bad. You don't even know. I'm being so hardcore and I'm so proud of myself. I'm like, no, I'll have those macaroons another day, but not right now. And I ended up buying those white leggings. I know, right? Like, white leggings? I have never. I, I don't even try them on because I'm like, why would I do that? And I definitely could see a little cellulite in the back, but I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if you don't like my cellulite, don't look, bitch. I just got to my house. I'm going to take yesterday's footage. Let me open my garage. I'm gonna take yesterday's footage from the Smoky Cat Eye, and I'm going to upload it to, bleh, upload it to my laptop so I can start editing that today and tomorrow, and then, yeah, I'm gonna work out tonight. I'm trying to think what else I'm doing. I know, I've, I've, it's been a long day, I've done a lot. Uh, excuse me. Guys, guys, real talk. I'm, I'm crashing. <laughs> I walked in the door and I was like, yeah, we're gonna start fucking editing and then we're gonna fucking go to the gym and then we're just gonna like clean the closet and I'm like, bitch, I'm <laughs> Power through, Jax. Okay, so it is 8.30 right now, and <sighs> this foundation looks incredible. This side looks better, the side that I added a little powder to, um, but that's something I commonly do is like touch up powder like once in the day, so the fact that this side I touched up once and looks so beautiful is amazing. If you're more normal to dry, I think you're gonna love this. If you're more normal to oily, I think you're gonna love this. I think this foundation is five stars. I'm giving it a five star rating. And the concealer, I would give this a four and a half star. The only reason I'm giving it four and a half is because I used the Better Than Sex Mascara, which I shouldn't have done because it's kind of smudgy. Don't you guys, don't you guys feel like that too? Like it's a good mascara, but it smudges. And I should have used my L'Oreal Lash Paradise why I didn't use this, I don't know, but I think I just like grabbed whatever I saw first because it kind of smudged a little throughout the day, especially because today at one point it got really humid because I guess it had rained while I was in the mail, not the mail, the mall. And um, so yeah, it's a little smudgy underneath, but overall I really like this. I can't wait to keep wearing this foundation and playing with different primers and powders and all that stuff, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, so itchy. I can show you guys exactly what it looks like at hour eight and a half. So here is the foundation up close. So this side looks good, but this side looks better. Um, I think this foundation is going to work phenomenally if you are normal to oily. It's definitely going to work if you're more on the dry side. Um, if you're looking for a foundation that is a medium to full coverage, affordable, has a really good color range and just doesn't accentuate your pores and fine lines and just texture in your skin. Guys, I cannot say enough about this. Like, this stuff is good. And this was a lot of fun. If you guys liked this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to film one tomorrow and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I'm going to sign off now and say thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one and have a beautiful rest of your week. Bye.